So oh, we're playing Disco Elysium today. Um, it's a game that has sort of been on my radar for quite a while. Um, I've, heard, I've, I've heard of it for, for ages and ages, but I never really saw anything about it until the VGAs in December last year, I think it was. Um, and it won quite a few awards. And then a few weeks after that, it went on, on sale on, on Epic. Uh, it dropped like 20 quid, so I thought, sort of, might as well pick it up for a tenner. Um, and to have just never got around to play. I've just been meaning to and meaning to and meaning to, and I think now's the time. So um, I'm going to. Uh, it's a detective story. It's it's very sort of point-and-click story-based RPG, I guess. Open world-ish. Very, very fun looking. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Uh, right, okay, so select archetype. Am I a th I am a thinker, sensitive, physical, or can create my own. I think I might just start with one of the pre-created ones on a first run through. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people. Sounds like me. Um, knows interesting facts, come up, comes up with original ideas, or very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Or physical. I, I'm a thinker. I'm, I'm going to go thinker. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your okay. conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Okay. Ever. Oh, the ancient reptilian brain. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, 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 baby. Okay. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Oh, this is great. Yes, it is. Um, what was that about the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, it's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. The meat thing. Plunge back into the fathomless deep, or no, I wanted to know about the ex-something. Ex-love. Ex-tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of Allergic Zone. The where? Allons-y, never let me go. Or no, I want to get off now. I like plain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Do you really? Yes. Don't be naive, of course not. I want to stay in the inky blackness until forever ends. Uh, no, I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why do you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, chef? Wait, I did this to myself? Tell me, what's waiting for me? Or, I don't care, I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. Yeah. I did this to myself. You're one disco mother. I am one disco mother. Tell me, what's waiting for There's me? this giant ball there. And evil apes. Evil apes? And evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. Oh. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. How big is this ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. So it's not flat. How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. And this duking it out I keep hearing about. What's that? Fine for resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. 
You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. That sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go! Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. A sensation? Like a fly to the ointment, your conscious sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Disco music? Mother, help me! There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it! The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache! <laughs> help! Someone cut my head off! It's trying to murder the rest of me! A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell! Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. Open your eyes. Oh, hey, it's me. Hello, me. Hello, me. Okay, I'm not wearing any clothes. There's a tie on the fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Excellent. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Why is the fan talking to me? Uh, let's put some music on. Oh, it's just rolling empty. Okay. What's in the bathtub? You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liquors. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. Take all. Hey, we got our shirt. Okay. Now, pants. Oh, there's pants. Disco ass blazer. Oh, I can zoom out. Excellent. Uh, pants. Put the pants on. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Ooh. It says whirling in rags. On the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Excellent. The Whirling in Rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. I needed to know that. Ah, oh, there's one shoe. Oh, it's the empty cassette case. Okay, let's just grab the shoe. Ah, it's my left foot shoe. Okay. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Definitely masculine. Was this not the same Eno that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virile, uncaring towards the little things? The little things. Probably not, no. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. <laughs> never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with yeah, my face. There is definitely something wrong with it. 
where to even begin. There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. <laughs> uh, wipe the mirror. Oh, God. It's me. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Um, no. Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly <laughs> rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm not making it. The face is making Please. it itself. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Uh, let's try oh to stop. Oh, my God. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. <laughs> You've worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? I don't know. It's indescribable. It's supposed to look suggestive. <laughs> I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. Uh, I promise. You liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead. Try something. Uh, dig deep into your mind, locate the source of the expression, or attempt to stop the expression. Uh, deep, dig deep. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough okay. time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But ah, more new importantly, style. disco happened. Ah, disco. For Revachol, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open air, what de nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. The expression. So I adopted it. Uh, I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Uh, how long ago was the new uh, anything else uh, I guess that's that then it doesn't have to be you can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to maybe some of the stardust will return I don't know L leave me alone mirror if the I were drunk stands broken in its frame cold wind blows in Geeken Geeken am I pronouncing that right Geeken Thank you very much for the sub. I haven't had, oh shit, I haven't set sub alerts up. <laughs> oh, it's been a week. How's it going? Um, uh, assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Um, did I break a it? A fine web of scarring covers the... Um, what? Did I break it? Uh, a fine web of scarring, uh, what did this More end? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Was it my shoe? The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It I threw my shoe out the window. Heavy enough, if thrown with force. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I should go and get cold that shoe. The wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Let's go get a shoe. Aha! There's my shoe!
All right, we've got our shoes back on. All that time to load just this little balcony. I'm thinking. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. Truth be told. All right, back inside then. What day is it? Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Hello, Hello. officer. Hi. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Hello, young woman. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor. Sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Uh, no. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman, chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call? No, then why did you call me you're an officer? A police officer, sir. Oh, you're shitting I'm me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? I've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. No less? What business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Sounds like me. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Um... I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a Kupri Kanima is, but I do know what one sounds like. Uh, why would why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Uh, or try the expression on her. Oh, no, 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 no. 3%. I'm not going to bother. Um, why, 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 where was it? I don't remember being could a cop. Could it be because of the drinking? It could be. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired, her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Um, I, I should go of now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Who's they? Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes. Uh, what is it they have against the uh, police here? Where exactly is here? Tell me, is it 51 now? Uh, your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Uh, why, why, do they, why are the they against the police? The workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Uh, where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? We are in Revachol. Oh. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Uh, should that mean something to me? Revachol forever? Or how about you tell me something else instead? Yeah. Uh, is it 1951? Or, sorry, not 19, but 51 now? It's 51. <laughs> what century? There we the go. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. Ah, okay. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. <laughs> What's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. True. Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last there night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Oh, disco, disco, disco. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco uh, music? Yes. Various artists. 
ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about oh, oh, the better. Okay, I'm not going to ask. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. It mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? It would appear so. Giggity. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. Uh, what was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a winded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Uh, I, I am sorry. Don't be. I was going out later anyway. It didn't bother me. Uh, and then? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Uh, what, 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 was I being assaulted? No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. Yeah, that, that tracks. A window was smashed. A tape player, probably. No, it was my shoe. Stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was scream. It, there was. Oh, sorry. I thought you'd finished. you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then, around four or five, and that was it. Um, okay, you can Glad go now. Glad to have been of assistance. Thank you. Okay. She left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. What's this? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe de la Monde. Trompe le Monde, sorry. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Let's go downstairs. Ooh, a stage. Was I doing karaoke? This is where the lyrics would be. I think I was doing karaoke last night. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, I can talk to him. This is a water cooler. Large bubbles. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Let's talk to this dude. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Oh, I guess he was working last night. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. I, I broke the bird, didn't I? Look, this is the great Oops. sewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. Right, okay. I double clicked, sorry. Uh it, it what I skipped was it looks like the bird was ripped off the shield and that was that was used to mount it, most likely on the wall. The small steel tag says as much. The great skewer. Stercoarius skewer. Um what happened to the bird? Look, your buddy is over there. Oh, okay. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? How you doing, Buff? Uh, what do you mean by my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh, sorry. I'm doing good, dude. I'm doing good. How are you? He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. Uh, 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 uh understood. Mm -hmm. 
So there was a someone. Oh, specials. What's on the specials? Only the word Monday is written on it. Okay. Inside, you catch a glimpse of Union paraphernalia, a strike poster, some red pennants. Ooh. Hello. What's this? The sign reads, Mess Hall, reserved for Union members. Doors open at four. Uh, the pinball machine is unplugged. Is this, is this my friend? My buddy? A spectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Seems legit. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Uh, shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. I must be. You realize he's waiting for your name. Um, I'm going to invent a name for myself. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he no. has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Yeah, drunk. Uh, you, uh, the cafeteria manager? Um, If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Uh, it also he... wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Um, what, what interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Um, yes, the police. I am aware that I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? Uh, I haven't. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Okay. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, there's a dead body? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Uh, no. So the body is still in the tree? It would appear so. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh, I think we should. Um, well, but how can you be so sure from the I'm from the police? Well, I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers who were worse, much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as Ooh. I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Uh, then let's go. To you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? I, I, wait, I should have a badge. You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. To be fair, I didn't actually think of looking for the badge. As quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Yeah, considering the body's been in the tree for seven days, I agree. Let's go talk to this dude. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. That coffee is cold. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. You told me you were cafeteria I'm manager. Suragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? 
Oh, okay. Um, uh, I am the harbinger of ruin. What? Uh, <laughs> nothing. I just wanted to see what happens if I said that. What is this? A joke to you? Is Sorry. this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? We've been waiting for a week here. I, I know. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, that's handy. This sounds like something you can use to use. call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Many, many cafeterias? Wow, big shot. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. So you used to work here, but you don't know the area. I didn't imply that. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Ah. Right then, questions. <laughs> I got this. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Uh, yeah, that seems legit as well. Ask him about the body's location before asking if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous question, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Okay. Uh, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get That's there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Damn. Sounds big. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocence Franco-Negro sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind. Fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That <laughs> hole in the fence must be enormous. enormous. Uh, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not oh. the police. That's your job. That was worth a shot. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they? If he oh, doesn't know. Good point. Uh, oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers. That it was a lynching. A lynching? Who is this? Yes, the yes, no, no, sir. Customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Everyone? Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. But why would the doctors lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionisters probably thought they'd send a message. Uh, I have other questions. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Um, okay. Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Uh, am I not a cop? Everything is my okay, business. you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. Oh, I hope dude. you appreciate that. Poor bloke. Thank you. 
didn't go I well. An employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. Uh, this stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. You're right. I probably shouldn't have asked. Forget it. Uh, that's all. It's good. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> As you blow this joint, behind you, a whiny voice shouts. Real mature, man. Real mature. Yeah, baby. You should tell me now. Later. Was there oh, anything okay. else you wanted to know about the case? Uh, I Good. think that's about it. Um, I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. It's a legit response. He's having trouble processing it. Believing it even. Uh, I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was a <laughs> there was heavy drinking Have involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Um, but I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? Um, uh, I'm afraid this is a medical situation. <laughs> really? You look fine to me. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and I had no idea who this I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Yeah, well, yeah. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone... I'm not malingering. So much has to retroactively erase their entire life. Uh, let's just Focus skip on, on other things. people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Okay, let's go then. So we can't go through this door until what, one? A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts in a man's handwriting. Oh. You. Real mature man. What exactly were you trying to accomplish? You do understand you still owe me money, right? Damn, yes. Your feet thought we got away. Uh, I was desperate. You know what? The stupid drinks you've had are on the house. You know why? Because I know you can't pay for them. Not yeah. because you ran away. Yeah. Now. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. That's a hundred square. That'll do. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you up there. Now, what the hell did you want? I assume you wanted something to come back here. Well, there's clearly s someone working here and a woman's handwriting wrote the sign. So, um, a, a thing I need to talk about. What? Thing. Uh, it's reserved yes, for the union. Not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. <laughs> Disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. I think that was a bit of a dig. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. Oh, we have to wait until tomorrow? There are these things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying they'll come after you've slept. Just making clear you got <laughs> yeah. Thank you for explaining days to me. Tell me about the sign. What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. Um, but there may be something pertinent to the investigation. He wasn't pan fried. He was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with... Fine. Yes. Okay, the kitchen is closed until 1pm because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. What? By the way, 
You should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Ah, okay. I saw another thing. Another thing. Great. I love... Oh, yes. no, I didn't. Okay, goodbye. I, I don't want to ask him about the money. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I, 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 I have no but idea. you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Uh, s south, maybe? You don't really know, do you? Oh. No. I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow? To the exact street? The exact number of a building? You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. That would be good. Okay, what are these things down here? I'm guessing this is my inventory. Yep. This is my journal of tasks. Find out who is in the union box. I think I did that. Pay for the damages. I did not do that. Uh, the pissing competition. Yep. Uh, inspect the vis... Oh, okay. I need to report my badge missing and inspect the vi victim's body. Yeah, cool. This is my thought cabinet. What's my thought cabinet? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, where are we going next? Yes. Yeah, you seem to be following me. Uh, nothing. Okay, so he's not going to tell me anything new. Oh, this person. I can talk to this person. Hello, sweetie. Lena! Hello! Wait, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. Oh, okay. How you doing, Rocco? Um, hmm, maybe I am. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know. Maybe I have. <laughs> oh, no, God, no. Uh, I had one once, but then I lost her. Uh, I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm sorry if I was being overly familiar. That's fine. I, I know we've only just met. You good. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but Excellent. I come here for tea when they're away. Ooh, tea sounds good. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Just chilling. Excellent. On the spot. Yeah, same. So, you know, poorly cat who's just sitting on the windowsill at the moment. Um, you seem to be in a chair. <laughs> How would you like to roll with me? Oh, God. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. That's putting it mildly. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. I drank so hard I forgot literally oh everything. My. You know where we are, right? Um, we're in Revachol. That's right. In a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, to be precise. Uh, all I know is Revachol used to be really cool in the 30s. Revachol is disgraced capital of the world, something like that. Something like that. Yes, great. See, we're getting somewhere. What else do you know about our city of splendor? Tattered as she may be. Um, all I know is Revachol used to be really cool in the 30s. Ooh. Disco dancing. Disco. It seems like a lifetime ago. Much has changed, but it is still the most beautiful city in the world. A rare jewel set in the sand between the pines. Everyone says so, even foreigners. Speaking of history, you know what year it is. Hey, Mental. Yes? It's uh, something to do with 51, I've gathered. That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, Yay. take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. I got a pen. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there. But now she relaxes her shoulders. I mean, I, I saw a calendar. That's about it. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. 
What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Um, um, I'd like to think it's a dictatorship. <laughs> no, our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. Uh, we are governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. Freest market? Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners and women. Uh, uh, we're living under the cop regime. No, uh, I'd like to think it's some sort of democracy. Sadly not. Oh. Revishal is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own and what democracy we have is market-driven. Oh, okay. Meaning buying is voting. Ah. If there is no government, how come there are cops? Oh, dear. And you were doing so well. There aren't oh, no. any cops in Rivishal, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Uh, Besides, I'm not more than a the break. best person to explain the big things to anyone. I could do with like 12 hours sleep. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Um, uh, would tell me about the revolution? A uh, defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. Damn. Um, what does that have to do with there being no cops? Oh, but I'm a cop. Of course, sweetie. I, I think it I was really the trailer, yeah. I don't know how to explain it better. So, how did I do? You were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. Yeah. History and places. Remembering reality in a word. It's very odd. I drank a lot. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. <sighs> but maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And... While I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, who could tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a I have an encyclopedia. It's in my head. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. Uh, you... I'm just gonna go. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. So I've spoken to her. There's something there. So do I just have to wait around until one? Also, I think this is going in real time. I think the time in the bottom right-hand corner is real. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Go, no, no, I'm not singing karaoke. Go away. The sign. Go to the sign. Summer door closed for the winter. So it's winter? Um, I'm going to try going outside. Can I go outside? 